Hello, everybody. Welcome back to class. Today, our topic is profit and loss. And so, for our objective, we are going to be looking at how to calculate profit and loss in terms of dollars and how to calculate profit and loss percentage. Let's look at some quick definitions. So, first, in discussing these things, we need to talk about prices. So, we need to talk first about our cost price. So, what is cost price? Because these are terms that are going to come up. The cost price of an item, whatever it is, is the price at which the merchant pays for it. So, you have wholesalers and retailers. Let's say, for example, somebody is a, is a, is a retailer, so they go to the wholesale and they buy something. The money they pay for it there is their cost price. Then they will come and they will sell that thing to you. That thing is that price that they sell it to you for is their selling price. So we are look at, looking at these in terms of a merchant. So the cost price to the merchant is the price at which the merchant buys goods. The selling price of the merchant is the price at which the, the, the merchant sells you goods. All right? So this is not looking at it from a consumer perspective. It's looking at it from a merchant perspective. So the cost price is the price they pay for goods. The selling price is the price that they sell um, the goods for, inclusive of taxes and markups, um, etc. Now, profit is simple to describe here. If your selling price is greater than your cost price, then you are going to end up making some money. So your selling price minus your cost price is your profit, naturally. And if your selling price is less than what you paid for the item, then you're going to be making a loss. And therefore, if your selling price is less than your cost price, then you have a loss. And the, the formula we use to calculate these things, pretty simple formula. If you are calculating profit percent, then profit percent is the profit using the cost price as a, as a, as a base. So profit over cost price times 100% and that gives you your profit percent. Loss percent is the same thing. It's a similar thing. Loss over cost price times 100%. So in other case, you are using cost price as your basis for comparing. Your profit is in comparison to your cost price and your loss is in comparison to your cost price, either way. So now that we understand these little terms, let's go and look at some questions as to how we can calculate profit, loss, profit percent, and loss percent. Let's look at some questions. Here we're starting off with a simple one. The cost price of a plot of land was $20,000. The plot of land was sold for $24,000. Calculate the profit as a percentage of the cost price. So the first thing we need to do here is to ask ourselves how much profit was made. Um, how much profit? The selling price is $24,400 and the cost price is $20,000. So $24,400 minus $20,000 gives us $4,400, and this is our profit in terms of dollars. Now, to find the profit percent, we're going to take this profit and write it as a percentage of the, write it um, as, as, as a percentage of the, of the cost price. So we write it over $20,000 and not $24,000 because we are comparing our profit to our cost price, meaning we are comparing it to how much we paid for the thing. So we are multiplying that by 100%. And so here we end up dividing um, 44 divided by 2. And that cancels out, divides down to simply 22%. So the profit in this case is 22%. Not bad. Let's look at another question. Here, this one is a loss. So a used car was bought for $8,500 US dollars and later resold for $7,310 US dollars. 
determine the loss in dollars and then calculate the loss percentage. So this is our cost price. It would, that's what it was bought for. This is our selling price. Notice your selling price is lower um, than your cost price, which means that it's a loss. So the loss is going to be $8,500 minus $7,310. And that gives us, in terms of um, U.S. dollars, $1,190. So this is um, the, the loss in terms of money. That's the amount of money the person would have lost. And now the loss percent, we put the loss over the cost price and multiply by 100 which means that we're going to write 1190 over the cost price, which was 8,500. Multiply that by 100. And that gives us 14% when you plug that into your calculator. So in this case, the loss was 14%. And our, the actual amount of money lost was 1,190. All right, let's continue by looking at some questions from CXE that includes these kind of ideas. Here we have a question. Um, Mrs. Jack bought 150 t-shirts for $1,920. Calculate the cost of one shirt. We just go through those on our way to the answer. So the cost of one shirt is going to be $1,920 divided by 150. And it should tell us that one shirt should cost $12.80. That's the cost of one shirt. Now, the second part of the question says that shirts are sold for $19.99 each. Calculate the amount of money that um, Mrs. Jack receives after selling all the shirts. So each shirt is sold at $19.99. And there are 150 shirts. So we multiply that, and that gives us a total of $2,998.50. So run that through your calculator. you get that answer. The third part says, what is the total profit made? Well, this here is our cost price. Our cost price is $1,920. Our selling price is... 2998 so this is our cost price and this is our selling price and so our profit is going to be the difference between our cost price and our selling price which is 2998 um, 50 cents minus $1920 which gives us a total of $1,078 and 50 cents and now the profit as a percentage of the the profit as a percentage of the cost price written to the nearest whole number let me just move this out of the way a little bit all right let that stay um the profit as a percentage of the cost price now our profit is 1098 so the profit is Profit percent rather is profit over cost price times 100. So let's write that in. And the profit is 1,078.5. Cost price is 1,920. And we're going to multiply that by 100. And when you plug that into your calculator, in terms of percentage, it's going to give you um 56.2 and the question says to write it to the nearest whole number and the nearest whole number there so there would be 56 so we our, our um profit percentage to the nearest whole number is 56 percent and these are likely how you are going to come across Profit and loss, because these questions are, not normal, are normally given in the context of a question. So on your CXE paper, paper two especially, this is how you're likely to see it. Um, let's look at another one. 
And in this one, this is Amanda's shopping bill. And we're asked to find some values, A, B, C, and D, based on what she shopped for. The, the value of A here, quantity, unit price total. So the, the, the stickers is worked out already. The t-shirts, the cost of the t-shirts would be three times 12.5. So let's write that in. Um, A, and start there, is equal to three times 12.5. And that gives us $37.50. And the B, 2 times B gives us 33.9. So B is equal to 33.9 divided by 2. And that gives us um, a unit price of $16.00. And 95 cents. C times the quantity times the price times the price gives the total. So C times six dollars um, twenty gives us 31. So C is therefore equal to 31 dollars divided by 6.2 or six dollars twenty cents, and that gives us five items. That's five posters. So we have found our ABC. D is just to apply 15% um, um, VAT, value added tax, to, to this number. So D is equal to 15%, that's 15 over 100, multiplied by 108.28. Again, um, basic calculator work. And once you type that in into your calculator, you're going to get $16.24. So A, B, C, D, all done. Now the second part of the question says, Amanda sold six of the 12 stickers which she bought for 75 cents each and the remaining stickers for 40 cents each. So she bought 12 stickers for $5.88 and now she sells um, half the stickers or 75 cents on the other half for 40 cents. Show using calculations whether Amanda made a profit or a loss on buying the buying and selling the stickers. So in let's see how much money she gets for the stickers. She sells six at 75 cents. Remember 75 cents is written as 0 0.75. And when you multiply that out, six times 0 0.75, you end up with $4.50. cents. The other six stickers are sold for 40 cents each, and we write 40 cents like this, 0 0.4, and that gives us $2.40. So the total amount of money she makes from selling the stickers turns out to be $6.90. Now this $6.90 is her selling price. So the selling price is $6.90. And the cost price was $5.88. So she has made a profit. But just to con make that more concrete, um, the profit would be the, the difference between this, the selling price and the cost price. So we can see $6.90 minus $5.88. And that would give us um, $1.02. And so she made a profit of one dollar and two cents. So show using calculations whether Amanda made a profit or a loss. We have done our calculations and we have shown that she did make a profit or her selling price is greater than her cost price, which means that she made a profit and that profit is one dollar and two cents. Remember that you can find many, many more past and practice papers, material to work with, including textbooks and all at the website csecmathtutor.com. So head on over there and um, find material to work with, especially if you're working online. Share with your friends, subscribe, and best wishes as you continue preparing for your exams.